Serum is the clear liquid that can be separated from clotted whole blood. What are proteins? Proteins are the most abundant, fundamental, organic macromolecules present in all living cells and body fluids. Proteins are composed of one or more chains of amino acids. They are essential in the diet of animals and important in all biological processes. What do you mean by serum proteins? It refers to a large heterogeneous collection of individual proteins. More than a hundred serum proteins have been identified. Serum is the most frequently analyzed specimen for total protein or protein fractions. Major protein fractions present in serum are albumin and globulin. The adult reference range for total protein is 6.5 through 8.3 grams per deciliter and albumin is 3.5 through 5.5 grams per deciliter. Serum protein electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is an electrical separation specially used for the fractional identification of biological proteins. It is based on the movement of charged or ionized colloidal particles in an electrical field in the direction of an electrode of opposite charge. When you use the serum as a source of protein, the technique is known as serum protein electrophoresis. What is the well-known scientific law related with this technique? Ohm's law. Simply, it can be expressed as V equals IR. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. Name two main devices required for electrophoresis. 1. Electrophoresis chambers or cells. It contains mainly two types of chambers, outer and inner. Number of inner chambers may vary one to many. And electrodes. 2. High voltage power supply. The power supply is designed to provide constant voltage, current, or power. Usually one to four sets of electrophoresis cells can be connected in parallel and run simultaneous. What kind of safety precautions should you take when you handle high voltage power supply? High voltage power supply generates dangerous levels of voltage and current during operation. Therefore, always 1. Locate the device dust free away from the vibration. 2. Check the electrical connectors, wires, and apparatus for any signs of damage before using. 3. Only use compatible power supply with the cell. 4. Do not touch during operation. 5. Switch off the device and disconnect the AC line cord. 6. Wait a minimum of 60 seconds to unload gels at the end because power supply takes some time to decay. 7. Before cleaning, make sure to turn off AC power. 8. Do not clean with harsh cleaners. 9. Read provided power supply manual carefully before using. Note, the flow of current through a medium develops electrical resistance and then involves production of heat. Heat equals voltage times current times time. Therefore, heat production can be minimized with the application of low current and time. Factors that can affect the rate of migration of protein in electrophoresis. The rate of migration depends on viscosity, thickness of the medium, net charge of the protein in the electrical field, molecular weight of each protein, the structure and position of dissociation of acidic or basic groups of the protein molecule,
the pH of the medium, ionic strength of the solvent used as running buffer, temperature of the laboratory, supportive media used in the serum protein electrophoresis. 1. Gel. Examples, agarose gel, polyacrylamide gel, starch gel. 2. Paper. Examples, cellulose acetate, Wattman filter papers. Principle of the SDS page electrophoresis. Biologically, active native proteins have highly specific and complex structures which give the protein its unique shape. They fold into a diverse of shapes. Some are compact, some are elongated, and some are highly twisted owing forces that are on the polypeptide chains. Most importantly, forces involved in tertiary and quaternary structure of the proteins are ionic bonds, hydrogen bonds, disulfide bonds, hydrophobic interactions, in electrophoresis, net negatively charged proteins use fast through the supportive medium under high voltage towards the anode. The rate of migration is highly affected by the native high complexity of protein nature resulting poor molecular weight separation. SDS, sodium dodecyl sulfate, is an amphipathic surfactant and most commonly used protein denaturant. Denaturation of protein involves destruction of both secondary and tertiary structures and separation of subunits in quaternary structure but is not strong enough to break the peptide bonds in primary structure of protein. As a summary, denaturation disturbs the normal A helix and beta sheet in a protein and untwists it into an arbitrary shape. In addition to denaturation, proteins solubitize in SDS binded with uniformly. Treatment with SDS creates a uniform charge to mass ratio between different proteins. Therefore, separation on polyacrylamide gel in the presence of SDS takes place by molecular weight alone. Try to identify the parts of electrophoresis cell present in the lab. Vertical mini gel wedge system, model P82 Fisher Scientific. Power supply leads. Safety lid. Locking plate. UBC slots. Gasket. UBC electrode wire Lower buffer chamber electrode wire Upper buffer chamber Buffer tank Upper buffer chamber assembly. Banana plugs. Wedges.